This is The Operator, the Fortnite crew for August 2024. The added styles include the legacy styles, but I do like the machinist one here. This looks really good. Gold, prismatic, like an ice, and then the cosmic. The Lego looks fine, no problems here. Backwing does have the same legacy styles. Again, I like this machinist one here. The gold, so on and so forth. Now the harvesting tools, um, the impact will not change until the third edit style here. You would think we'd have something for the original style here. Default impact, same thing with the machinist legacy. Pretty default there. But then we get to the gold here. Prismatic, the ice, and the cosmic. For the gameplay, I am using the Eclipse umbrella and my weapon wrap is slippery. So the back bling definitely has a personality here. Little dork. <laughs> Anyways, weapon wrap looks really good with her that I use that slippery. Looks amazing. Again, I was kind of wishing that we would have some type of colored impact for at least this original first style here, but we don't equip and equip. It seems like a very fast equip though, like the speed of it. I don't see much here. Blurred out version, possibly. The impact is kind of a snooze fest, not gonna lie. But at least the blade speed does change upon using them. As you can see, the blades are not moving. Now they are. I wouldn't call it reactive, but interactive. Interactive is the word here. So it would have been interesting if the screen on the back bling displayed your elims or the number on her left shoulder, it says zero two. Maybe if that displayed your elims as well. It's just a thought here. ADS is fine. Again, slippery looks amazing. 10 out of 10 on her. Again, the backling, like I'm distracted to see what the backling is going to do next. Maybe it's just me. You gonna press some buttons there, buddy? Maybe? I guess not. Any components here? I do like the sound hitting components and then the glider, like I said. Eclipse Brella looks amazing. 10 out of 10. Very quickly, I want to take off the backling though. I'm going to say this is one of those outfits that does not necessarily need a backling. I'm going to say it. It looks fine without one too. But we do have quite a bit for combos, so let's get sweaty. We're starting with the domino pack. It's a very close color that we're looking for. Same thing here with this new backling that we have from Adidas. Not bad. Interesting, right? Not the strongest, but interesting. I like Blade Bag. Even though it's a lighter pink, it does look nice. Bubble Blast looks pretty damn cool as well. The Claws Retro. Interesting backling. Never use it, but it looks perfect here. Shining Star goes on a lot. Puncture Pack as well is a really nice color scheme. I love Plasmatic Gear because she does have tools on her hips, so it kind of makes me think she has some type of knowledge with fixing things or mechanical things. Jet set is a little bulky, but it's interesting. The hot holster is very close to the pink I'm looking for. Flatline is, is okay. It's not the best, not the strongest. Skirmish might be the strongest here. It's tactical, it's aggressive. It's a little beat up and tethered in the color scheme. 10 out of 10 is what it came with. And then we have, <laughs> even though it's cell shaded, the Rural Berry back bling. Not terrible, interesting back bling combo so far. With the back bling now, honestly, I know pink and blue is a very common color scheme, but I thought for whatever reason, this blue would have been stingy, but actually found more than I thought. Bonehead is perfect. Absolutely perfect on that one. Bubble Bomber, she's not as saturated, but it's still pretty decent. Cryptic, not my favorite, but you can definitely make it work. Envision, I don't think it matches well with the theme, but the colors are there. Mika Mika, love this. Love this. She's always looked kind of futuristic to me, and this just kind of seals the deal. I think it looks great. That pink goes with the hair, and then we have the accents of blue on her outfit. Mel, interesting, right? It brings a lot more pink into the outfit. I think it's awesome. Lambro, Lambro, eh, not, not my favorite. Now, because I used his umbrella, I had to use him within the showcase here. We can also put on the mask if I remember how to do that here. Still looks pretty decent, not gonna lie. 
Jade Racer also looks pretty damn close. I know, you know, like the red and or pink on her isn't perfect, but that pink goes great with the sidearm on her thigh. I'm just saying. Iris, not, not the best there, not the best. Razor Ray, very, very clean. Very clean to me. Rocks with her original style here without the armor. Sid with the hood down to bring in that blue from her hair. It's not a perfect match, but it's interesting. Tegan, um, nobody likes Tegan, but I think it goes pretty good with um, her headphones that she's wearing. Or I could call it the headset. It's probably, I'd probably call it a headset instead of the headphones. Tilt the technique, not bad. Had to do some wavy warrior with the tie-dye outfits. Pretty basic there. Wildcat looks clean on her. And lastly, the world warrior. Interesting combos, more than I thought. And with that being said, guys, liking the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. That is supporter creator P-I-Z-0 in the item shop. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the live stream. See ya.